Chapter 4 Shadows of Descent In the aftermath of the historic treaty with Darkwood, Prince Alaron and Lady Alara returned to Viridian with cautious optimism. The journey back was quieter than their departure, the weight of their new responsibilities palpable in the air. Alaron spent much of the ride lost in thought, contemplating the fragile peace they had just forged and the challenges that lay ahead. Upon their return, the villages of Evercrest greeted them with a mixture of relief and curiosity. Aleron addressed the gathered villagers from the steps of the Great Hall, his voice carrying across the courtyard. People of Viridian, he began, his tone steady and authoritative. We have taken a significant step towards peace with Darkwood, but our work is far from over. We must remain vigilant and steadfast in our commitment to unity. The crowd murmured in agreement, though whispers of dissent lingered at the edges. Some villagers questioned the wisdom of trusting their former adversaries, while others expressed concerns about the redistribution of resources promised in the treaty. Inside the Great Hall, Aleron convened a council of elders and advisors to discuss the implementation of the treaty. Captain Rinald, ever vigilant at his side, voiced the concerns of the Viridian Guard. Forgive me, your highness, Rinald began respectfully, but there are those who doubt Darkwood's sincerity. The recent skirmishes have left scars that may not easily heal. Aleron nodded gravely, acknowledging the validity of Rinald's concerns. Trust must be earned, he conceded, his brow furrowed with worry. But we cannot let fear dictate our actions. We must give peace a chance. Lady Alara, seated beside Aleron, interjected with a proposal to establish a joint agricultural project with Darkwood. By sharing resources, she suggested earnestly, we can demonstrate our commitment to cooperation and mutual prosperity. The council deliberated late into the night, weighing the risks and benefits of their burgeoning alliance with Darkwood. Eldrin, the eldest advisor and keeper of Viridian's ancient lore, offered sage counsel. Peace is fragile, Eldrin reminded them solemnly, his voice carrying the weight of centuries. But it is also our greatest aspiration. We must tread carefully, yet boldly, if we are to forge a future where conflict becomes a distant memory. Weeks turned into months as Aleron and Alara worked tirelessly to implement the terms of the treaty. They oversaw the construction of joint patrols along the newly established borders, ensuring the safety of both realms. Trade routes reopened, merchants from Darkwood mingling freely with those from Evercrest in the bustling market square. Yet, shadows of dissent lingered beneath the surface. Rumors spread like wildfire through the villages, fueled by whispers of betrayal and hidden agendas. Aleron found himself confronted by disgruntled villagers during public appearances, their grievances echoing the fears of those who remained skeptical of their alliance with Darkwood. We trusted you to protect us, an elderly woman accused tearfully at one such gathering, her voice trembling with anger and fear. Why should we believe that Darkwood won't turn on us again? Aleron listened with empathy, his heart heavy with the weight of their expectations. I understand your fears, he reassured them earnestly, but we must give peace a chance. We cannot let the shadows of the past dictate our future. Alara stood beside him, her presence a beacon of calm amidst the rising discord. Change takes time, she urged gently, her voice carrying across the courtyard. Let us not abandon hope so soon. Together, we can build a future where unity prevails. As tensions simmered and challenges mounted, Aleron and Alara found solace in their unwavering belief in the transformative power of unity. They continued to navigate the complexities of governance with courage and resilience, determined to prove that peace was not just an ideal but a tangible reality worth fighting for.